really special and delicious recipe for you. Beet chocolate brownies, okay? Now, I don't, I don't really remember where I got this idea from. It was really hard for me to find a vegan version online. So, I had to veganize one for myself. I thought beets would be great because they give the brownies a nice red hue, and they're just so delicious. And you don't have to use as much fat if you add the beets. So this is a perfect recipe to make for someone you love or even yourself this Valentine's Day. Let's get started. First, we're gonna get our beets and our chocolate ready. After boiling beets and peeling them once they're cool, I chopped them up and stuck them in the food processor. Blend them until they're almost pureed. There can be a little texture. Now for the chocolate. Melt vegan butter and chocolate in a double boiler and stir it until it's crazy smooth. We're gonna be using these vegan eggs by Follow Your Heart. Yes, I said it, vegan eggs. Not flaxseed, not chia seed. This is vegan eggs. So basically, they use some algae to replicate eggs. So you can use this stuff for baking. You can even scramble it. You can use it for a quiche, and it's really weird because it actually smells like egg, but it's vegan. So we're gonna use this for our brownies. To activate the vegan egg, we're going to mix it with cold water in the mixer. You can also do this by hand. I love you. Now we'll add the sugar, both brown and white, to the vegan egg. Then the vanilla. Then beets. Then the chocolate. Blend it until it's well combined. Must be a kind of blind love. I can't see anyone but you. Mix together the dry ingredients just flour, baking powder, and salt. Then add that to the wet mixture and mix it until it's combined. Don't overmix it though. Pour the batter into a greased and floured baking dish and use your spatula to smooth it out. Bake for 55 minutes at 350 degrees. La, 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 la. Give these brownies about 30 to 45 minutes to cool. Serve with powdered sugar or ice cream. Someone. Guess who? These 
are super delicious, though I must say, make sure you let them cool completely before you cut them and serve them because inside it's just really gooey when you take them out of the oven and I just think they need some more time to firm and become perfectly fudgy in the right texture that you're going for. So about an hour should be good, but they're super good. So I hope you give them a try this Valentine's Day. Make them again for yourself or someone else that you love very much. And oh, if you do make them, take a picture, tag me on it in social media, on Instagram or something like that, because I would love to see. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic, love-filled, beautiful, Valentine's Day, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Beat hummus, beat brownies, beat burgers, beet soup, just beets. Love beets. I love them anyway. I even love them all. Yeah.